Hey loves, Mahania here, and as requested, I am doing a flip through of my Filofax Soft Domino in pink. I am so in love with this planner. This is my favorite planner out of every planner that I've ever owned. It is so convenient to carry. Um, I could just go on and on about it, but let's just get into the flip through. The elastic band is my favorite feature on this planner. I love the soft cover. The pink is my favorite shade of pink, but the elastic was the selling feature for me. This planner is super chunky, so having that elastic band helps me to secure everything in, especially my pens. So this is a planner charm that I made using some ribbon from Michaels to make the bow. The chain came from Michaels. And I made these two charms a while back, maybe about two years ago, using some polymer clay. And the heart here is from a pair of earrings that my grandmother bought me for Christmas, probably like 10 years ago or so, and I just added that on. This clip is a Ollie clip, and it is a small rose gold clip, and I absolutely love it. This die cut is from Pinterest. And this love clip is from Daiso. The M is from Heidi Swap, a alpha sticker pack. This clip here is from Staples. This paper here is like a scrapbooking sheet. It was a 12 by 12 and it is a beautiful pearl finish. And I got it from Michaels. The M here I got from Michaels as well, and it is on a acetate dashboard with gold polka dots. Here I have a Target adhesive pocket on a side loading dashboard. This card is a free printable that I found on Pinterest. And behind that I have a December mini calendar. I'll leave the link where I purchased it below as well as anything else that I mentioned. This die cut is from her name is Savvy's Etsy shop. The W came from the same Heidi Swap stickers as the M. And behind that I have a white doily. This is a piece of vellum with this beautiful gold writing and I purchased this from Joann's. Here I have another sheet of the, or piece of the acetate that you saw for the first dashboard. And this is a mini little faux Vogue magazine cover. The image I found on Google and I just did a text overlay on top of it and just added like some captions. This clip I got from Hobby Lobby. I was asked about the pins that I have in this planner. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce the name. I think it's Kokoro or Co yeah, Kokoro, I believe. Um, I purchased them from Jet Pins. And I will definitely leave the link down below for you to check them out. So you purchase two separate parts for these pins. There's a case that I believe was about $2. And then you're going to also purchase the refill that goes inside the pin, which you see here. And this is a pin loop that I made using a gold binder clip, some hot glue, and elastic, which I purchased at Joann's. So here is the body of the pin. And this is a brush tip and you just take the cap off, you insert the refill and you screw it in to secure it. And it is simple as that. And I have several different colors for the body of the pen so that I can just switch them out when I want to or just add different color inks. I love these pens. They are really fun to write with and they are so pretty. So these are miniature calendars. Sorry I flashed them 
so fast. I didn't realize I was moving so fast. And this is a Heidi Swap Instax Mini Memory Journaling Card. And here I just have a die cut that says I love you a latte. This is Jenga. I purchased her from Kitty's Magical Creation. Her shop is currently on vacation, but I'm definitely going to leave the link in the description box anyway. I have a clear dashboard over this brown sheet that came with the file effect. I just love that color, so I left it in there. This is an adorable die cut that I got from her name is Savvy on Etsy. And this is a collab with her in Sweet Deco Chic. She's in her little night top with these long socks. I found this shirt on Google and it says, no pants are the best pants. So I thought that they were absolutely perfect together. Aren't they just so cute? And under this die cut, I have a Starbucks logo in black and pink because I absolutely love Starbucks. So we come to my first divider, which I made using some glitter cardstock. And on this divider, I have a picture of my children and it is on a Instax Mini 8 photo. And I got the sticker for this photo from eBay. I think I got like 50 or 100 in a pack. And this love clip is from Daiso. And this binder clip is from Michaels. And I love the gold on the uh, metal clamp. These tabs are from Love Tabs on Etsy. And the gold unicorn is a piece or, or two pieces of chunky glitter that I place back to back. And here's the other side of it. This is a Instax mini picture that I got from Google and I just printed it and laminated it. These inserts are originally A5 size files and I have these in my A5 um, planner and I just downsized them to 50% and they fit perfectly in this pocket size planner. This is a freebie sticker sheet that I got from Kitty's Magical Creations. And it is so, so cute. And it is in a side loading dashboard. And I actually have a tutorial how to make side loading dashboards. So I have some stickers here also from Kitty's Magical Creation. And the letters, as you can probably tell, are from Heidi Swap. This was a blank piece of vellum, and I printed the leopard print onto it. This beautiful glitter black card stock my husband picked up for me from Joanne. This camera clip I got from Hobby Lobby. And this black pen has a ballpoint tip on it. And I just love the gold sparkles in the body of the pen. The camera didn't really pick it up too well. This is a image that was black and white originally and I colored it in. I printed it from Pinterest and this acetate here I got from Michaels. This is Patty Panda. And I got her from her name is Savvy. As you can probably tell, I love her shop. I have a Hogwarts Express ticket here simply because I am a Harry Potter head. And I have another piece of that vellum. And this candle here, I can't remember exactly where it came from. If I do remember, I'll link it in the description box below. And this is my brain dump section. This divider here is the start of my monthly section. 
this image I got from Pinterest and it is also in a side loading uh, dashboard. And here I have this Starbucks wrap image and it just wouldn't be right if I didn't have it in my planner. And this beautiful acetate with this gold writing I got from Joann's, I think. If not Joann's, then Michael's. And here is Stinka Skunk. And the link to my Etsy shop will be in the description box below as well. I got this picture of these macarons from Google and the pom-poms I made myself as well. Here's another one of those candles. This is a folder that I made. I laminated some vellum. Um, I can do a tutorial. Just let me know in the comment section below if you would like that. The vellum makes it very thin so it cuts down on the bulk of the planner. On the inside I have some stickers that I cut down. Um, the sheets came out of a recollection book as well as a pack of five sheets that I got from Michaels. So this is the Philofax 2017 Year at a Glance. These are some, I guess, important dates and things of that nature from Philofax. And this is a Year at a Glance for 2018 from Peanuts Planner Co. Because I purchased a yearly bundle from her. And so under this um, year at a glance, I have a iridescence acetate that I cut down and I purchased that in a 12 by 12 sheet from Michaels. And these are miniature calendars that I got from Mama Rose blog. I will link her video down below where I got the idea to do this. I basically just copied hers to the T. And it's on some grid paper that came with the file effects. And I'll let her explain it to you in the video because this video is already like 25 minutes <laughs> long. And you know, I hate to make my videos super long. This grid paper came with the file effects. I purchased this reflective gold scrapbooking paper at Joann's. So here are my monthlies and I am actually going to just come back and do a separate video just so I can go through all of the inserts. I will say her inserts are super easy to print and I highly recommend her shop. This is a UV multi pen. It has eight different color inks in it, and I purchased it from Target for three dollars and some change, I believe. It writes very well, and I really do love this pen. So in this section, I have my inserts for next year. When I put them in here, it was like three months or two months until the new year, and we are already in December which is crazy so the mini calendar that you saw I took from this tablet here and I just rounded the corners on it and I got these mini calendars and notepads from the Dollar Tree about two or three months ago but they are absolutely adorable I got this image from Pinterest and she is in a side loading dashboard with a piece of that card stock under it. This is a UFO catcher um, image that I got from Pinterest as well. It is so cute and it's really like a retro look to it. So these are inserts and like I said I will do all this in a separate video. So this is the section where I track my happy mail. I got this image from Pinterest. Sorry, trying to get the camera to focus there. 
And I got these stickers from Kitty's Magic Co. Creations. And I got these online order sheets from Etsy. I will leave the link to the shop below because I forgot where I got it from. This was a freebie from her name is Stabby's Facebook group for National Coffee Day. And behind that I have a cream doily that I got from Michaels. And on the back of that I have my beautiful Brie Asia there. And I have a die cut of a Starbucks frat. So this is my weekly section and I have a sheet of acetate that I printed this um, digital doll print and these digital dolls are from Gold Mines and Coco and this was actually the first printed acetate that I did myself and I have the weeklies in that came with the follow facts originally and they are too distracting so I will be using some other weekly inserts um, next year here I have some note pages that came with the follow facts and here I have a white scrapbooking sheet similar to the pink one that you saw in the front of the planner. I found this image on Google just doing like a cartoon um, search and I placed some vellum behind it for a background and I also found these images on Google and I have a box of Pocky, a pink Coca-Cola and strawberry ice cream in a cone. I got this die cut here with the other candles that I got in this journaling card or a little cutout I got from a scrapbooking um, paper set. And this is another one of those pens as I'm sure you can tell. And it has a fine brush tip. This is a sheet of vellum that I cut down. It came with my Webster's Pages Traveler's Notebook. And I just thought it was so cute to go over this telephone booth, which I got from Pinterest. And there were two telephone booths on the page. So I cut them out, I placed them back to back, and I laminated them to have like a window image of the telephone booths and if you couldn't guess from the telephone booths this is my address book section this is the ruler that came with the planner as well as this frosted pocket here which I keep my stickers that I use the most in this planner and in the back of the stickers I keep stamps and we have finally made it to the back of the planner. Congratulations if you made it this far. There is a pocket here that is pretty loose. So you can really stuff it. The pin loop matches the elastic band. And we have officially made it through the full flip through of my Filofax Pocket Domino. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at Extravaglam. You can email me extravaglam at gmail.com. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.